All right, guys. So the last one with the parts been built. This uh, triaxle, it's built. We've got um, the third axle in there and stuff. We've got a little prop coming, and then I have an adjustable one for the drive from the gearbox to the drive output. So hopefully come the next time for this video, I'll be able to show all that functioning. Um, in this one, we're gonna be looking at these arches from KK Truck. Pick these up a few months back from the club at Leyland off a friend who had them for sale. And he was gonna use them on his wrecker and then didn't bother. And I thought they'd be perfect for this. So I was lucky enough to snap them up. However, they probably are available from the website, which I will drop in the description down below. Now, this is looking a bit tatty at the minute. Uh, the spare MFU I had, it's the MFU01, so I will be putting that in there. Um, with it being a 36 inch coffin sleeper, everything is a tight squeeze. So I do need to make a little bracket up the back for the MFU, but as you can see, everything's just gonna tuck in there just nicely with the battery as well. It's just deciding on what I wanna do with the control box because I have an MFU like step, but I don't really want all that on shore under the step down here. So I could maybe hinge that off or something like that, or maybe get the control unit and once the wiring's all out of the way, have it inside the sleeper somewhere. I don't know, but I was just measuring up and working out what leads, what lights, and what I needed to go where. So I have everything on this MFU now that I need to go into place. Um, the roof, I've decided to do away with the three lights. They're actually speed indicators on the MFC, but you do replace them to normal amber bulbs, which go on the sunroof. But um, I'm just having one at either side of the roof at the side of the air horns. Um, it's just deciding how I want the roof. If I want a sunroof like with it lifted up, sat back, or no roof at all. I don't know. Also going to be deleting the front lights and cutting away the light bucket, the light box off the arch and smoothing that out. And then I have some like grand hauler arch lights which I'm not using on that one, which I thought we might be able to try and turn into little headlights which could bolt on the side of the grill once that's on there. Um, make a little bracket and then we can put the headlights there. So this one's moving a lot quicker than this one, but this one's kind of at its pain stage. And like I said, with that truck, I am in no rush whatsoever to finish that. It's just one of those builds that I'm just totally taking my time with. I'm in no rush. So yeah, this one, these um, triaxle arches. Now for this, I am gonna have to remove the wheels. So I'm just going to get the wheels removed and then shall come back to you. So for the moment, I have just left that centre wheel in there. And I have gone ahead and actually put the mounts on one of these. Maybe I will show you on that one what's what. But uh, it was just to give me a rough guide of where I'm going to want to be drilling. So I have marked out on the top of the chassis rails as to where they sit and this bracket wants to be lying more flush with the top of the um, fifth wheel plate there so it wants to be above the chassis by a few mil otherwise it's sat on the wheels but then when your wheels are flexing you also don't want them rubbing up on the inside so I don't need to remove the centre wheel because the brackets are either side of that and I'll be drilling here somewhere and here somewhere. But, um, where was it? It was around that position that I wanted them. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm just going to drop a little drop of super glue on either side of those, flip this onto its side, and then I can just get those to hold in place <laughs> exactly where I want them, and hopefully they won't come off just while I mark up the holes on there for where I need to drill. And all I'm going to do for that is use a one and a half mil drill bit in my Archimedes drill and that will basically just take out a small little groove in the metal you'd be there all day trying to drill through it but then when I put the drill to it it's not going to slip off you've already got the indentation in there and it's going to save scratching the chassis rail and stuff like that so that is another way of drilling if you don't have a pillar drill now I use uh, Dave's when I need a pillar drill but obviously when I don't it's a bit more fiddly but it's doable so these arches so if I just flip this onto its side here so it does come with a little basic manual of what to do what size nuts and bolts bolt where to hold the brackets and to drill into the chassis rails little template there and things like that uh, the name is KK truck store like I say, I'll drop that down in the um, description down below. But they're on Facebook and eBay. So I've just dropped a smidge of glue either side of where the brackets are going to be lining up. Now I may have to just take a screw out of this... Um, cross member here because it's right in the way of where this bracket wants to sit so now I can bring that down a bit that's better so now I just want to measure the distance from the top of the bracket to the top of the chassis rail 4mm four mil so I'm comfortable with that and at least I know this straight so those are just held in place now with a little blob of glue but now I can put my pencil in there and mark those little holes up on the front and the rear but I'm about four mil from the top of the bracket to the top of the chassis rail on either side just get my uh, pencil in there Same on the other side. And now it doesn't matter if they fall off. <laughs> so the actual brackets on these, they're pretty dead simple. You've got four adjustable holes on the bracket. So whether you want them wider or more in towards the inside of the truck and then you have four drill holes on the top and they're literally just gonna hold in place with the little nuts and screws provided so I'm gonna bolt this one up now and then we can progress some more so I've just temporarily fitted the bracket well just added one at either side just to hold it in place I'll add the others once they're um, ready for actually bolting up. You can see they're quite self-explanatory. So now, as I said, I'm going to be using a little Archimedes drill and a one and a half mil drill bit. And basically, hopefully this should have held in place. Now I've given it a little time doing those brackets. And this should just score me out. A nice little groove in the drill holes where I want to drill this bracket. If I just pull that off, and it's a little bit messy behind there because of the glue, but um. 
there I have my holes marked at the front and the rear now so all I need to do is just go through that with a heavier drill and then we can bolt them arches up so now I'm just using a regular drill like I say I've got my um, little indents there and just same on the other side So that's those drilled out. So I'm just going to finish bolting this up and then I can add the other nuts and bolts into the top of the arch here and then there in there. Uh, and then the fiddly part is just going to be putting the nuts on the back of the screws which are through the chassis rails. So that's that arch now fitted into place. I did just have to remove the fifth wheel latch thing just so I could get the nuts on the back but it's not actually as fiddly as I thought. So I'm just going to repeat what I've just done for that first step for that one and get this one on. So happy it is. There we have the arches installed. Quite happy with the spacing. So a few more bits. Getting the chrome stripped. Um, cutting out the headlights and just i need to make something in there just to hold the mfu on and that's pretty much it then it's paint stage i already know what i'm doing with this nothing fancy but i have um, taken inspiration from the diesel brothers kenworth now if you watch uh heavy d sparks on youtube or you've seen the diesel brothers I can't remember what season it were, and he got a red Kenworth triaxle uh, T800, and he went all black with it, and it looks fab. And he actually got another one to give away not too long back, which was a twin axle. Um, but I'm not replicating the Sparks triaxle, but I'm taking the inspiration of the all black uh, pipes, mirrors anything chrome apart from the arches I don't know I quite like those as they are but everything else the wheels uh, pretty much everything will be going just all black so that with that one quite simple and personally I think it really does make a nice finish to the truck but yeah this is uh, moving along pretty quickly so I hope you enjoyed that video uh, Hope you like how the arches are now looking. Now they're actually fixed onto the truck and not just resting in place. But yeah, it's a monster. And this actually looks awesome on the back of the low loader, especially with Rusty Toe in it. We've got um, the Prime Twins. Don't forget about Optimus Prime. These are Optimus Primed. This is what we want. It's quite a nice colour, the red primer, all in all. Won't mind a truck just like that. Well, I do, I don't know, I have Rusty. <laughs> Anyway, thank you all for watching again. Um, till the next one, ciao for now. Stay safe. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next one. Ciao for now, guys. Well done! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Nearly under a van!